reading from Luke chapter 6. Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose twelve of them, whom he also designated apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called the Zealot, Judas, son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. This is the word of the Lord. Today, May 1st, is a church holiday, the commemoration of St. Philip and St. James, apostles. There are three followers of Jesus in the New Testament named James, and today we commemorate James, the son of Alphaeus, apostle of our Lord. The New Testament tells us very little about this James. His father's name was Alphaeus. His mother's name was Mary. One time he is referred to as James the Less, perhaps meaning James the Younger, less or fewer in years than the other Jameses. One other thing the Bible tells us about him is in Luke chapter 6. Before choosing James, son of Alphaeus, to be one of the twelve, Jesus was up all night praying about it. Jesus thought James, son of Alphaeus, was important and spent the night in prayer before choosing him. He thought James, son of Alphaeus, was important, even though today most of what James did as a servant of Christ has been forgotten by the world and forgotten by history. He was an important person in Jesus' sight, and James's labors were not in vain. And the same is true for you. You are important to Jesus. You were chosen by him in the waters of holy baptism. And though much of what we do as his children will be forgotten in time, Jesus remembers and is thankful for you, his church, for you, his faithful workers. So remember Christ as your crucified and risen Lord and Savior. Serve him, serve God, serve others faithfully. Like James, son of Alphaeus, your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Let us pray. Almighty God, your son revealed himself to Philip and James and gave them the knowledge of everlasting life. Grant us also to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, and steadfastly to walk in the way that leads to eternal life. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen.